let's look at uh, Bayes' rule. Okay, so what is the Bayes' rule? Uh, the Bayes' rule is the following. Uh, the probability of B given A. So I a lot of the times in many problems, uh, you will be asked to find the probability of an event B uh, given another event A. Uh, but from the question, you can find out the question gives you the probability of A given B. The question gives you the probability of A given B, but you need to find the probability of B given A. So this Bayes rule can help you with that. So the relationship between P of B given A and P of A given B is uh, given by this equation. And the denominator is P of A given B times P of B plus P of A given B complement times P of B complement. Uh, can somebody tell me what's the denominator here? What is the denominator here? P of A, right? It's the average rule, um, the right-hand side of the average rule, right? So, so how do I prove this? The proof is uh, very simple. Okay, so what do we know about the probability of B given A? What's the definition of probability of B given A? By definition, it is the probability of B intersect with A divided by the probability of uh, A, right? The probability of the condition goes in the denominator. Now, instead of writing probability of B given A, B intersect A, let me just write A intersect B because that doesn't really matter. So now uh, we apply the multiplication rule for the numerator. By the multiplication rule, uh, by the uh, multiplication rule, what's the numerator? The numerator is the probability of A given B times the probability of B. And by the average rule, P of A, the overall probability of A, is the same as the weighted average of the conditional probabilities of A with respect to conditions uh, B and B complement. Uh, this is just B. And probability of A given B complement. So weighted average of where the weights are given by the probabilities of the conditions, right? Okay, so that's, that's exactly what we needed to prove this, right? So the probability of B given A is that. Is everybody okay? Okay, now we can generalize this. So the general Bayes rule is the following. Uh, if you have a, if you have uh, the events B1, B2, da da da, Bn, where the events are mutually exclusive and they uh, exhaust the entire sample space, meaning that their union, union is the entire sample space S, uh, then uh, the probability of B i uh, given A, probability of B i given A is the same as the probability of A given B i times the probability of B i 
divided by the, the basically the right hand side of the general average rule. The denominator is the right hand side of the general average rule which is the P of A given B1 times P of B1 plus P of A given B2 times P of B2 plus da 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 plus P of A given BN times P of BN. Okay, so uh, the, the general base rule, the proof is, uh, is pretty much the same, so I won't bother with that. Um, so you basically first of all apply the definition of the conditional probability, then in the numerator you apply the multipl multiplication rule, in the denominator you apply the general average rule in order to obtain this uh, equation. Okay, any questions on how, uh, what, uh, uh, on this equation? We'll do some examples. Mo mostly we're going to use the Bayes rule. We won't use the general Bayes rule all that much. Okay. Um, 